Hey everybody. I have no idea. Just uh, <clears throat> sat down and started playing that. You guys are incredible. Um, welcome to Stripe Sock Radio. Um, stories, songs. Socks. Um, love that you guys are here. Thank you so much. Super cool. I love these Sundays. I'm gonna turn that fan off. You guys hear that? It's crazy, right? There's a fan. There's my. Jeez. It has a tendency to get a little warm in my studio. There's so much gear in here, and I just added a, a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm having to be uh, very mindful of uh, where everything goes. Um, sock it to me. You should have said that. Mm. Hey, yeah, throw up hearts for everybody wearing their socks today. It's not a requisite, a prerequisite, or a requisite. Pro requisite? Prerequisite. That sounds better. It's not required. Uh, but it always is, is, um, appreciated. So, uh, before we begin today, if, if you don't know anything about this, if you just happen to jump on, we do this every, uh, for right now, every Sunday. We're going to see what that looks like, if that works everyone's schedule. Um, does this time work with everyone? Would you rather be earlier, later? Um, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually right-handed. It's all flipped, guys. This should be the... Either that or it's everyone's dyslexic. Um... Yeah, I'd love to know if this if this works great for you. If it doesn't, if you like sun Sundays, or if, or if you would prefer like a different day, like maybe like a Friday or something, um, noon Pacific or eight in the UK, whatever time it is, twenty hour, twenty 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 hundred hours. <laughs> I don't know. Um, for me, it's okay. Italy, it's 11 p.m. Hey, congratulations. It's like uh, Italy is starting to take a turn for the better, which is great. I love that you guys are literally all over the world um, and tuning in for this. This is just kind of a, a, um, a thing, a little stream that is devoted to uh, something more creative, more artistic, um, a lot of times music, but it doesn't always have to just be that. Um, and it's something that I want it to be very interactive and I want uh, to involve you guys. Where that was kind of born out of, you've heard me talk about this ad nauseum, but here we go again. It wouldn't be a stream without me mentioning Breathe. The Breathe Project was a song that, you want to say it with me? I sat at this piano, looked at that window, and wrote a song, uh, wrote, recorded, and released a song in quarantine. And with the help of almost a hundred other people from literally all over the world, uh, we created something that was better than us individually, and it was the sum of literally all of the uh, all of our parts. Um, it was get ready for eight bit. There it is, delivery guy. Maybe the UPS guy. Is it my UPS guy? You watching right now? You clever little. I'll, I'll tell you what Brown can do for me. Um, don't take that weird. Um, so. It, it dawned on me, it was like, it's one thing for me to create, but it's a hell of a lot cooler when we all get involved with it. So, to that point, uh, last Sunday, um, we just kind of sat and I had Black Beauty over there. Boop, 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 that said Epi 335. Um, we, we just kind of sat and vibed for a little bit, and I asked you guys to kind of throw up some words, and not like vomit, but like just put them on the text thing. Um, that'd be weird, like throwing up words, you're like, anti dis 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 anti dis 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 dis
uh, and include the hashtag, uh, hashtag Stripe Sock Radio. A uh, big shout out to Chris and VR for being able to compile and be the aggregator of all of those. And she let me know, this is, this is mind blowing. Um, I want to show you guys this. We had 319 official submissions, uh, f over 1500 words total. Um, and I want to show you something that, that she did that I thought was pretty effing cool. Look at this. This is the word cloud that she created um, using all of the words that you guys submitted. How dope is that, right? Super cool. Um, but what I, what I wanted to look at is, is kind of the, the commonalities and, and some very um, recurring themes that I see there. Obviously, uh, if you don't know how word cloud works, um, the bigger words uh, or the, the more uh, prevalent a word is used, uh, the larger it becomes. So the words that you see there a lot that are bigger, love, together, light, light, fight, make, world, see, those words were all used by multiple people. And then obviously anti-disestablishitarianism was used by two. Um, Pyro Biggs, who else used that? I, I love that. And actually what I loved, I'm going to call it uh, G G C H, whatever that is. Um, should have thought of that <laughs> before you made that your Twitter name. Uh, said anti disestablishitarianism good luck, which I thought was awesome. Um, but looking through this, and, and even kind of without seeing the word cloud, because Chris did this, literally she was taking submissions at the last moment. Um, I, I, I saw some, some recurring themes, and there's a lot of sense of people feeling lost, people feeling that they're in darkness, um, and therefore the opposite of that being light. Um, the fact that we're fighting and the fact that we're doing this together. There was also this really cool recurring thing of, of storm um, and, and use of elements, a lot of uses of water, of sun, moon, stars. Um, there's, there's some cool elements of nature that, that people do. Uh, to that point, here's what I want to... Everybody of 319 people that submitted words and, and phrases. Um, my gosh, man. Chris and VR. Throw up hearts for Chris and VR right now. She's just... Look at look at this. She did an amazing job of peeing. peeing? I'm sure you do that well, too. She did an incredible job of just... She crushes it. When it, when it comes to like spreadsheets and, and, and being... Um, organized she she's uh second to none so uh here's something that i that i noticed and there's a lot of stuff that i've highlighted here if you can see that um y'all be some talented mofos up in this bitch um there's a lot of you some dealt in poetry some dealt in prose some dealt in very uh, brief, short descriptions, and others became very eloquent and articulate. Um, and I want to, I want to really rec uh, uh, encourage a lot, of, a lot of you. Um, I want to encourage all of you. But there's a few specifically that I was like, "Damn, you! If you're not writing either songs or poetry or or, or something, um, you, you need to be." Uh, and this one I pulled up, Bowen, who's going to be joining us later, Droid Bishop, um, put this up. And how do I get rid of this? Bloops. There we go. Uh, and then blanch. I made that bigger and then nothing. There we go. Um, we'll send this out. Chris and we'll, 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 I'll be able to tweet that and you'll be able to get this. And maybe we can do something cool with it. I don't know. Uh, with the word cloud. Um, but, but Bowen pointed this out to me and I was like, dang, dude, that's really, really cool. Uh, M. Cashman. M. Cashman said, we're all stardust and stories. We're all stardust and stories. Um, that to me is one of the best summations of this community, of what this thing is all about, and who we are on a very fundamental level. 
You've heard me say this a lot of times. We are storytellers. We're natural storytellers. It's in our DNA. It's the reason why we created language. It's the reason why we have music. We're just trying to tell our story, and we're doing that literally any way we can. We're, we're, we're bursting forth with creativity just to be able to tell our story, how we feel, what we've experienced, what we want, what we're, what we're missing, what we're hopeful of, what we're fearful of. All of those things come from this place of, of, of us being storytellers. And the fact that we're all stardust, absolutely, absolutely. We, I said this in, in, in Robot Ninja Shark, and I have gotten into this conversation before. Stick, stick with me, guys. Um, I, I said something kind of offhand, and he, I love having conversations with Ryan because he's not afraid to engage and, and push against, uh, he's a true philosopher in the sense that he pushes against um, ideologies and, and, and philosophies and, and thoughts that are presented to him. So I made a comment a couple of weeks back where I said, you need to know your worth and fuck your value. And that came out of a conversation that I had with a friend of mine in New York who's talking about how the dating game had changed. And she said, it's just so really hard because I feel like my value is constantly changing. And uh, I was like, yeah. So look at gold. Gold is one of the foundational elements of the universe, right? Gold, uh, if you've been following the stock market at all through this whole crazy thing, the price of gold uh, has skyrocketed and plummeted, skyrocketed and plummeted, and it is just like an EKG. Um, and depending upon what shape the economy is in, um, the value of gold is constantly in flux. But the true worth of gold is the fact that it is among Every other element, 200 elements on the periodic table, 198, something like that, Kyle Sci-Fi will, will, Kyle Hill will correct me on that instantly uh, if you're watching. Um, gold is one of the best, if not the best, conductors of electricity in the universe. It knows how to harness and distribute energy better than any other element ever. And it was born out of a star. So that's why I said, your value is all perception. So you need to know your worth. Your, your worth is inherent. What is inherent to gold is that it, by its very nature of just what it is, has this amazing worth that it can harness, collect, and distribute energy. Its value is what we think of it. And at one point, someone discarded that ugly yellow rock as worthless. But it was always worth something. We just didn't understand it. And as we understand things more, the worth of it increases. So your value can be affected by your worth, but your worth never changes. Your worth is always inherent. Your value is what fluctuates. So know your worth and fuck your value. Because it's all based upon other people's perception. So anyway, that's where that came from. But the thing that I love about stardust is the fact that all of us, if you look at all of the elements of who you are, the, the same elements that exist in your body, the iron that is in your blood, is the same iron that was in a star that exploded and sent all of life in billions of infinite directions to culminate on us here wearing this shirt, looking at this phone by this piano with you people. Now we can get into the whole ideologies and philosophies and theories on how we got here, but that's just an objectable fact. The same element that's inside my blood, that's inside my body, the carbon that makes up who I am, also exists in stars. So therefore we are all stardust in stories. So let's call that, let's call this thing today, Stardust and Stories. And maybe that'll provide some framework um, for what this thing is. My sweet Jesus. Um, <laughs> that was, uh, that was coming through my speakers. So hooray I message. Um, where was I? <laughs> so, um, Look, I, I, thank you so much for saying that, but I want to point something out to you. Uh, I'm your friend, 
okay? Uh, and friends walk with each other. Um, it's one thing to be able to like, uh, you're a buddy that I can laugh with. I'm the dude you can laugh with, cry with, whatever. All right, so we're all gonna do this thing together. But I'm not your therapist. I want that to be very, very clear. I am neither a trained uh, or licensed therapist. Um, I can only speak to you from the position and the wisdom that I am in and have. Um, and if you feel like you need to talk to somebody, you do. <laughs> all of us are in one of two places, we're either in recovery or in need of it. So we should all be, especially now, we should all be talking to someone. And that's more than just a friend. If you really feel like you're struggling with getting a handle on how you feel um, or how to navigate through your particular path. So, and the beauty of it all is that you can do it right within the confines of this thing. So if you feel like you need to be talking to somebody, I am happy to walk with you through that. But I'm going to walk you to someone who is trained, experienced, and capable to really help give you the tools to be able to navigate your circumstance. Darrow Farrell, where you been, dude? Miss you, man. Ah, oh, I love seeing that name fly around here. My Irish brother. Um, I cannot wait till we can go to that. What was the name of that bar that we went to in Dublin? That was just across the way from, you remember it. Uh, the one that had a really cool garden outside. All right, so, um, isn't this cool? This is a lot of fun. Um, and thank you for everybody who tuned in yesterday. Um, you really lifted me up and encouraged me. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, token? Is that what it's called? Dara? It's called Token? You know what I remember most? There's the best lesson I learned from Dara Farrell. Ireland. It's not Ireland. It's Ireland. How you doing? Um, little Perrier for today. Who else? What else we got? So in case you missed it, just so we can show what we're talking about here. Um, I, by the way, I sat down to try to like write this song and I felt like it was a little bit of cheating. Uh, and also I was like overwhelmed by some of this. So I'm going to put this up again in case you missed this. Here is the word cloud that uh, Chris and VR, um, who said something about Kevin Max? Oh, dude, did he drop that? Yeah, dude. K Max is my boy. He's my brother, man. The blue eyed brothers. Um, so this is the word cloud that Chris and VR created based upon all of the submissions that we have. We had like 320 submissions, almost over 1500 words that you guys sent in from Friday to today um, with a challenge of give me a word or give me a phrase. Um, that's it. I didn't give any other kind of like framework or, or, or guidance. You guys came up with this and the beauty of this, I wanted to see what the algorithm we could create and the bigger words that you see out of, out of 1500 words of 320 submissions, the bigger words are the ones that kept being repeated. So you see some themes that are um, kind of emerging from this. Um, the fact that we, uh, there's unity in this, that love, light, and fighting for this is something that uh, is, is incredibly important and universal. We're all feeling that. So if you feel like you're alone, this picture right here is proof that you're not because you are feeling we're all feeling the same things. Cool. So I thought that was super, super dope. Um, so let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, that was yesterday. Today, um, I, this is, Stripe Sock Radio is not just about me. Stripe Sock Radio is about this community. It's about people, um, coming together and creating art, telling their stories however that they can. Um, there's someone that, uh, has been with me, um, through a lot of my greatest, I feel, accomplishments musically, Let's see if I can. Boom, go away. Kadoosh, kadoosh. Hey, how do I get rid of that? Go, there we go. Um, there we go. Snap. Um, my dear friend, James Bowen. Um, and Bowen and I met, well, we'll, we'll get into whole, all of that. Um, but he's someone who I consider a dream partner. He's someone who's an incredibly talented musician, uh, incredible human. We've had some amazing things. And I wanted to bring him into this conversation as well and see if he kind of can't help us uh, create this stardust and stories together. So while he connects, everybody throw up hearts uh, for the one and only Droid Bishop, AKA James Bowen. Hey buddy, there's that face. Yes, oh. sir. I, w I wanted to find like uh, something that was as 80s as possible uh, for me to wear today in honor of you. 
um, this man knows more about, I don't, I feel like my film knowledge is pretty vast, but you will, you will drastically like take me to task on, on most anything where it comes to a movie line or especially if it has anything to do with eighties. Uh, you kind of have that synced up. So dude, thank you for, <laughs> for joining me. I can't, I, I'm getting like misty. I missed your face. Am I coming through okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you sound great. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm, uh, the levels are okay. Yeah, man, levels are great, dude. Do you have a color preference? Um, do you know what? It's so weird. This is the most tame that I've ever seen you. Someone yeah. said Clark Kent. I kind of agree. Oh, well, it's the hair. There's no haircuts going on, so you just like just slick everything back and. Are you getting are you getting illegal haircuts over there? No, dude. Going? This is literally right here. Uh, truth be told, this is this is manscaped. This is I I don't I you can't get clippers, and I I, I took my my man my my lawnmower two point <laughs> and just been <laughs> it's it's uh it's disastrous. I might be doing the uh, the seventies Peter Gabriel look, you know, where he just like shaves them. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Was that seventies? I thought it was early eighties they did that. Oh, that was like when he was still in Genesis. He shaved his head like when he did that little that one. It was like a reverse. It was like a reverse. Like, mohawk. The mullet. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So let's. Uh, how did how did we meet? Where did that where did that come from? It was through Wayne, wasn't it? Wayne Wayne G Miller. Wayne G Miller, uh, a producer extraordinaire. Um, I. I guess I want to figure out how oh, I, I figured what happened was I Johnny Watt, who produced the first record uh, and then Brian Foster kind of like he's like here's the people that you go to and, and this is what Wayne does is he is an aggregator of talent and people so he brought you in and we did the first album sitting in the fire where we <laughs> we dragged like almost half a million dollars worth of gear and instruments up into Big Bear, California to a house. Um, and I remember standing outside and we're like, we just loaded up everything and we're here for like the next five days. And Rob King, who is the engineer just goes, did anybody check the power in this place? Yeah. It was like, oh shit. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if we're having the power to, yeah. to drive all of this stuff. Um, and then we spent the next like four or five days just like you had your little gear little ghetto over over by the stairs and we just lived there and and made some of my favorite stuff that we did uh was the more improvised uh tracks that we did that you especially what we lost in the fire you turned that song around with those little delayed little eighth note tappy things that you were doing um so that was the first time that i really realized the amount of talent that you have um, beyond just being a guitarist, but actually being a songwriter and a producer in your own right. Um, and then I learn that you've got this almost, I don't want to call it an alter ego, but there is this whole other side of you that, not surprisingly, you're, you're a shredding guitarist, um, but you also have this whole other side of you as a producer that's more to synthwave. So who, what is Droid Bishop? Where do I begin? <laughs> I, I would classify it as an alter ego. Cool. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. It's very hard to kind of like personify these things, but it's kind of, it's it's one in the same. It's not that's this and this is James Bowen and that it's, it's, it's just one. It's just, it. that's who I really am inside here, you know, and, and, the James Bowen is who walks through the physical world with the rules that are set up for us in society, if that makes sense. Would that mean then that, that Droid Bishop operates outside of those? Yeah, it kind of goes into that just stardust kind of vibe, you know? It's, mm -hmm. it's beyond, like, you know, not to, we could go on for hours about some of these topics, but I feel like, <laughs> idea has set up these very constrained shapes and rules and things we're supposed to do and 
So that kind of, to me, that's, I'm not even from this world. I don't, right. I don't agree with a lot of things that go on in this world and how we're supposed to live. And so that's kind of me in my mind coming from another planet and kind of looking at everything from an outside perspective. And I'm sure a lot of people out there don't feel like they really belong to the, you know, whatever this thing is society that has been set up. Have you felt that feeling get bigger, uh, more focused, more, are you, are you better able to articulate that because of the current situation of quarantine? Because you, up, up to this point over the last several years that I've known you, you don't spend that much time home. Like you're typically out on the road or in the studio somewhere because you, you've you played for all manner of people. You've played with Mike Posner. Um, you, were playing with, you were playing with Christina Perry too for a while, weren't you? I was Wayne. That, okay, Wayne played for Christina Perry. You were playing for Mike Posner. That's what you guys share was playing for Posner. Um, yeah. So your, your life by and large was spent uh, either on a bus, on a plane, or on a stage somewhere. Um, and so now you found yourself kind of within the four walls of, of your domestic residence. It's, it seems like you're spending more time, or does that mean that you're spending more time as James Bowen? Or does that mean that you actually had the opportunity to spend more time as that droid bishop and, and, and really dive into what that looks like? I mean, like I said before, it's kind of like, I don't, I don't see it as, I, it's all this one entity. Like my, my job is, as a musician is not my job. It's just, everything is just one thing. I don't think about, you know, I'll put it this way. Everything's a write-off in my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just one thing. So, but to answer your question more directly, I do feel like I, I'm, it's, it's more the Joy Bishop entity that's working but now this is my lair that i don't i don't know what the hell's going on out there i feel safe right here you know? what have you been do how have you been spending this quarantine it's been two months um you're you're in, in los angeles as well what what does that look like for you i mean we kind of chatted on the phone you know about this the other day and you know i want to say like i don't want to take away from anyone who's had a negative experience by this loved ones or health issues financial troubles you got nine kids who won't stop screaming but uh for me it's been a blessing i can't i won't i can't lie about it you know so it's made me work on issues i have you know you you you're living with with your wife and a child and like you there's nowhere to go you have to kind of solve issues when i live with my girlfriend and we we figure stuff out and it's made us stronger and I'm more productive. There's nowhere to, there's, I don't want to go out there really. There's nothing to, to do. I just, I feel like I'm so productive. I feel like I'm mm. just banging. Just, I, I thought I, I'm working on my new album. I thought it'd be till the end of the year. I was kind of gathering ideas and I'm just, I'm pretty much almost done with the actual recording part. I'm just kind of moving on to the, the post-production area. And I just, I'm really not getting that much sleep because my body's just like work, work, work. So it's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a push and pull, but I keep thinking about those things, the Shakespeare, the quarantine, you know, like Newton figuring shit out. It's like, we're all given an opportunity. Like you were telling people, like, if you're not writing poetry or doing something like, Hey, I love playing PlayStation, but come on. Like, and I think there's balance, right? I don't, I, my, my struggle for me has been um, not holding up, you know, or, not, or not, not being holed up in this room for, for 12 to 16 hours a day, cranking on stuff, because I do need to go outside. I do need to spend time with my family. I do need to just read or, or play games or, or do something other than what I'm feeling this drive to do, because you will, I find that I will eventually just kind of like, everything else will atrophy and my growth and, and that momentum will stop until I, everything else has a chance to kind of catch up. Um, for sure. I go for walks like all the time and I get outside for moments and, you know, I'm not just living in this room, but I'm glad that, you know, we both have setups at home that allow us to keep working and, and being able to pay the bills, hopefully, you know? Yeah. 
Well, I feel like to reiterate, like I feel like I'm one of the more luckier people in this terrible circumstance that we've all found the world in. Um, and I want to turn my blessings into like giving back to other people with art and music. And, you know, I, I work on music for the, I make sure I enjoy what I'm doing, but it's coming from an altruistic place of the things that I heard when I was a kid and they take you away from the world for moments. And that's how I approach what I'm doing. So I feel like we're all stardust and I'm, I'm spinning with everyone. We're trying to figure it out. I'm just playing my part. And Cash like nailed, nailed it with that. I, if, if you guys don't know, uh, uh, Droid Bishop did the uh, the theme song. He did the remix for both Uncharted and The Last of Us. If you uh, did the ritual replay, definitive playthroughs. So that and that the reason why is uh, I wanted him specifically to do that. Not only because I love giving my friends opportunities to collaborate with me and be a part of the things that I'm doing, but also just because he's so perfectly you so perfectly kind of capture um, that synthwave '90s retro vibe. Um, can you, you're, you're sitting in your studio right now, yeah? Mm -hmm. Kind of, kind of vibe with us a little bit. I, I want people to kind of get a, get a sense of like, even though I set you up as a guitarist or anything, you're, you're bringing that guitar element more and more into what, uh, into this new Droid Bishop album. What, what is, like, what are you vibing on right now? You're, you're a wicked pianist, even though you don't give yourself credit for that enough. If you've heard Unknown Caller on the Window to the Abbey record, um that's james bowen playing and it's this beautiful piano piece that we were he was just up there noodling and we recorded the entire thing and i ran downstairs so like please tell me you got that and wayne was like i got all all of it um yeah. so those uh those walking tack sounds on the that ghost piano dude that was that that piano is is kind of uh like the imagine piano that was at Trident Studios. They tried to remove that thing and it uh, plummeted three stories. Uh, and it was like, you're not taking me out of this thing. I'm going down with this, with this, uh, <laughs> with this ship here. Play, uh, will you play a little bit for us? And just kind of like. Can you hear that? I can. You guys, can you hear that? Dope. Do you want, do you want it up? Do you want it down? Turn it up a little bit, man. Yeah. If it's too loud, you're too old. That's dope. Yes, yeah, so like kind of you, you said you went for a walk and you're kind of vibing. What, uh, I'm gonna put this word cloud again. I wanna see, what are you, what are you vibing on here today? Like what's, what's your... What am I? You know what, why don't you pick a word from that and, and then I'm gonna vibe from that word. Dig man. Word here's here's what really kind of stood out to me there were there were a few of these uh i'm gonna pull up the first one that hot <laughs> i always feel weird saying your screen name but you're an incredible ooh, incredible contributor to this community hot piss um do you know what it feels like to be without you? That to me, that dude, it's line 24. Do you know what it feels like to be without you? To me, that is such a wonderful way to encounter, just a very simple, profound way of a rhetorical question of being like, that that would be the first thing that I would lead off saying is like, do you have any idea how it feels to be without you? Do you know what it feels like to be without you? I'm gonna vibe off that. Yeah, dude. Yeah,
Let's give it a beat. You got beats? If I sent them to you, they'd be out of sync. But I would love to hear what this could sound like because I feel like that what I what I was feeling from everything that people were sending us is that we're moving in a direction and being able to kind of give this a pace so that we're somewhere around like, you know, like a 65, 70. Give me a BPM. I already got this set up. Like a, what is it, like 68? How loud is that? Is that roughly what you were clicking? I think so. What was that? 82. 82. Close I was way to... behind. Just kind of like just a good little driving quarters. I already had this like, I opened up this with this key. He's in it and there's a beat in here. I don't know if this is going to work. Let me see. What key? I'm uh... But I'm, I'm I'm only good in the shape of C, and I'm, I'm I transpose. I think I'm just in regular. I'm in regular C position now. That was A. Well, I mean, like I'm just in normal. I'm not transposed or anything. Right. Neither am I. I play every. I play the shape of D in that crate in there. So. Turn, turn down just a little bit. Turn it down? Just a little bit, yeah. Can you play to that, or is it not going to sync up? Transpose for you to see. I'm going to slow that down. Take cool. the stars.
feels like I'm gonna be without you. Did we lose them? We lost your audio. Hmm, where did he go? So here's, okay, this is what I love. We're learning about this whole thing. Now we can't get you. Yeah, we lost your audio. We're learning what this looks like. We're learning how to do this, but at least you can see the desire is to be able to, and even just that short bit that we heard, um, we were able to vibe together. And that was off of literally one line and him just kind of throwing down a beat. So we can't get him back so we can wrap this up with him. But, but the goosh. Um, but you can kind of see how, how easy it is if we just share a little bit, that's one line out of 320 that were submitted, how easy it is, there he is. Hi, buddy. How easy it is. What happened there? <laughs> it was too awesome. Instagram can't handle it. How easy it is for us to, I was just saying, I was like, that was off of like literally one line and one little pass with shitty audio and, and us trying to harness technology and, and work within the confines of that. But that was one out of 320 um, submissions that people have that just, it was one of the most simplest ones. And there was some, I'm serious, y'all, there was some real poetry in what you guys sent and some very deeply connected words and phrases. So it looks like Instagram, as, as, as great of a platform it is, may not be able to contain what it is that we really want to do. It's great if someone wants to sit here and just kind of play. But if we truly want to collaborate, if we really want to try to connect and create art together, then maybe we got to move this off this platform. We'll look into what that looks like and how we can do that. There, we're not wanting for platforms. There's, there's plenty of, of things out there. Um, but I, I do think that something that's cool and what, what it reaffirms to me is just how, and you and I specifically, Bowen, are, we're no strangers to being able to just kind of drop in and go, all right, start playing something. Uh, intermission and window to the abbey off of the the first record that we did together were all improvised one take and just i think i did the what was it just started off that and that's how that entire song kind of came to be and it was just all of us calling out chords calling out changes and feeling that together so that that spirit of improvisational um creative collaborative uh kind of processes is, is definitely what what i vibe with but um we've only got a little bit more time but i would love to hear i'm going to drop out because i think that's what was kind of fucking up a little bit but i kind of want to feature what you could do just play mad scientist a little bit and, and off that vibe um just kind of Take us somewhere real quick, cool. as, as many implements and, and instruments and, and things as you want to try to do. And then I'll just kind of shut up on my side. How much of the audio was there? And like, did it, like, was I just there for like five, like in the dark with no audio? I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I think what jammed it up was, uh, was me uh, trying to, to chime in I, with you. I heard you. I heard you singing like, for a minute or so, like randomly, like throwing in the line. Yeah, uh, it, that that was just the little, just quick part. Do you know? 
Do you know? But I was just playing. I just came up with that with that beat. I slowed it down, thinking about all this shit that we're talking about. And like, I actually like that. I'm gonna like maybe jam on that. I'm gonna like record this because I don't want to freak out. Yeah, right. This is the other thing. Everybody who's listening to this, if if you're uh, if you're kind of predisposed to being creative, whether it be again, writing, drawing, uh, but especially music or, or um, storytelling in any way that, that, that uses words or melody, uh, voice memo or whatever app you have on your phone is invaluable. I did it today. I was like, whoa, this thing I just came to me. Don't wait, put that thought down immediately because that, that thing is moving through you like a slow moving train and it will pass you by and move on to the next person. I was blown away thinking about Traveler right oh, now shit. is, yeah, right? Traveler right now is fascinated with the Beatles. And I thought, I was sitting there just listening, I was like, Paul McCartney got Hey Jude yesterday, Blackbird. He got some of the greatest songs ever written because he harnessed them when they came to him. So you, you've got it whether you want to write it down or just I, a lot of times I'll speak into my, my phone and, and, and put that down. But, but definitely, definitely, definitely put that, put those ideas down. Don't, don't wait for them to, uh, to leave you. Um, it looks like you're buffering, which is super cool. Yeah. You look very buff. You're, you're buffing. Yeah, guys, I'm right now. Traveler is, I, I wish I could put up the video of it. Traveler is singing yellow submarine right now. There you go. All right, so um, let's see. Let's see if you can uh, kind of vibe a little bit, and maybe I mute myself. Here we go. Um,
Stardust and story Stardust and stories Guys are super rad for hanging out. And for submitting your thoughts and stories and music that has been visiting you this week. encouragement to me. Um, as we get ready to ramp up and launch whatever this thing is going to be, that there are people there that want to do this with me. And I'm not alone in it. That, um, that it matters to some people. That's the corner I would stand in seeing and play and do it in this isolation before quarantine. And to know now that forever, you know, everyone that wants to be a part of this, that I don't have to be alone in it and I can create and share and make something better. But being in the same place that I was, doing the same thing that I was doing, just allowing other people to be a part of the process. Um, and I want to encourage you guys to do the same thing. Don't keep your art to yourself. sharing it. I'll do my best to give you guys a reason to. If nothing else, I'll play like the same three chords over and over again. I'll hang out as long as you do.
I really hope you guys have a, for better, even if you had a great week last week, I hope you have a better week than you had this week. If you've been thinking about someone and you haven't reached out to them, do that this week. It's always best to try to start a conversation, but even if it doesn't result in a conversation, just to let someone know, hey, I'm thinking about you. If you have an idea this week, write it down. Sketch it. Record it. Share it. We'll only have one more of these, I can tell you that. And then it'll be different. Hopefully better. I hope you guys continue to stick with me. I really think where we're going is somewhere cool. songs with me. Hopefully I'll see you next Sunday. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay connected.